If this thing works, it's gonna change DIY flooring installation forever. So for everybody who's been watching our flooring videos and liking my cutter, I know it's 400 bucks. It's a lot of money. So what I did is I went on Amazon and I found the cheapest thing I could find from a company that I love, Roberts. And I'm going to try it out today because it seems like it's a good laminate floor cutter, but I'm telling you, if this cuts vinyl as well, then I'm going to be telling everybody to go get this thing because it was under 60 bucks. Oh yeah. So full disclosure, this is not a sponsored video. This is just me looking for solutions for you. So this thing comes pre-assembled with two pieces. Oddly enough, this is just designed to put on the floor so that it's the same height. You can put a long plank on it and it'll hold the weight so it's not falling all over the place. Great idea, cute. Um, usually I just stick a couple of two by fours together, but that seems to be made for it. Now check this guillotine out. You know what, it's not even a sharp, it's just a flat blade. It's about 3 16ths of an inch thick and it's not sharp, so it's not dangerous for the kids. But it's just, it's designed to go straight in that groove, so clean and perfect. There's no option but to cut whatever's in his way. So I'm looking for a solution for everybody at home in the DIY world who wants to do their own flooring, who doesn't want to run up and down the stairs cutting outside, because let's face it, you know, laminate flooring is really dangerous. And I saw them on the video use this tool. There's no extension on it. And it just cut through the laminate like Swiss cheese. And I said to myself, if this does the same thing for vinyl, we have ourselves a winner. And then I can put this in my favorite tool list on my Amazon page so that everybody can buy one of these things. And it shows up at your house in 48 hours if you're a Prime member. Such a deal. Woo. All right. It worked. Now, it was a little bit of extra work. The lever isn't as long as the one on my bigger Roberts cutter. You're going to get this little bit of garbage every single time. Okay? Now, if you're looking for a cutter and you don't want to waste a whole lot of money to buy a really expensive machine, this will work. If you're standing up and putting your weight on it, it should be a lot easier. I'm like, got this table set really high for the purpose of the video. But let me just try this. I'll stand back here. Wow, you know what? I think even if you are a pretty tiny lady, if you had this on the floor and you put your body weight onto that, you'd have no problem with that at all. And I think you're gonna save a lot of time and energy from running up and down the stairs. That is awesome. Let's face it, vinyl doesn't cut very well with a knife, it's dangerous. This is not dangerous. And it works. Click the video if you wanna know how to install laminate or vinyl.